Hey guys, uh, I'm Maluna from Curse EU. I'm gonna do a quick guide on Cho'Gath, and the runes I use is Attack Speed Red. Or do you want to clarify Jungle faster? It with your E Vorpal spikes, it make, makes you deal a lot more damage. Uh, attack Speed is good in general for Jungle. Uh, armor Yellow, because you're gonna take a lot of damage, and as Cho'Gath, you want to use B Super Tank. So uh, armor for this and flat MR over scaling. I don't like the scaling ones at all. Uh, I'd rather just be stronger early game and get more items because of that. Uh, then I chose Armored Quince. Uh, you just want to be as tanky as possible with Cho'Gath and I think armor ones are the best. It helps your early clears as well in the jungle so you don't get as low. As for masteries, I go like really tanky. Um, you don't really need much else, I think. Like you, you basically just want to be as tanky as possible. And the other stuff, like the magic pen, it's not really that good. Buff duration is okay, but it's nothing special. And you don't want the mana region. You don't really need any sustain. You just want to be super tank. Uh, so I basically get everything like HP, less damage from monsters, good on every jungler. This speeds up my clears a bit. Just uh, tank, tank, less damage from champions. This is, makes it harder to control you for the enemy team so you can run around and just be as annoying as possible. Uh, increases maximum health, really good. Works well with your feast as well because you get even more health. Uh, and this is just more armor and MR for everything and yeah, more tanky. So summoner spells, I go smite on every jungler, even if you don't really need it to clear, it helps your early game a lot, and if you don't have it, you lose pretty much all control of dragon and baron and your buffs, so it's really good to have. Flash, I just prefer it over other summoner spells, I think it's the best one. You can flash in for a silence or flashing for a feast, you can escape enemy skill shots, anything pretty much, you can use it for so many things both offensive and offensively and defensively. And as for items, uh, I would go, I start machete and five potions. You don't really need the potions as much because you have really good sustain from your passive, but it's still good to have to be safer in the jungle. You don't want to drop too low if the enemy is doing some counter jungling. Uh, skill order, you want to start E. It just gives you so much more damage for the jungle. It's an AoE 20 damage on every auto attack. And since you run attack speed, you just clear stuff really quick. Then you want to get one point in Q and leave it at one because the CC doesn't get any better. It's just more damage. And then one point in W at level three to have all your spells ready for ganks. Then you want to max your E and then max W second and then max Q last. Then for the rest of the items, uh, the Spirit of the Ancient Golem is really good because uh, Ninja Tabis on Cho'Gath is really good. The, the only way you're gonna die later in the game if you go really tanky is from the AD carries just auto attacking for a while. So Ninja Tabi is gonna help you a lot with that and you're not really gonna die that easy. But then you want the tenacity from somewhere else and yeah, this is the perfect choice with the Spirit of the Ancient Golem. Then after that, you want to get as much cooldown reduction and tankiness as possible. You can pick between some items like Frozen Heart and Spirit Visage, Visage are all really good. Uh, Shirella is probably the best utility item you can get. It just speeds up your whole team, really good for team fights, initiation, you can escape with it. It's good overall. Um, if you want to build some more damage, you could go with Send or Abyssal. Uh, personally, I don't really like going damage on Shogath, I think just being super tank and just blocking all the skill shots from the enemy team and uh, having cooldown reduction for your CC is gonna just make you more effective for the team than damage would. Then you could get a Randwins or an Aegis, eventually Bulwark, just to make your team more tanky or make your team deal less damage, or the enemy team deal less damage with Randwins. Just basically get as tanky as possible, and with your max out feast, you're gonna your model is so big that you can block most of the skill shots of the enemy team. Uh, 
Yeah, I think that's about it. Thanks for watching.